Hey brother, welcome to our channel where we dive deep into fascinating topics related to health, wellness, and personal development. In today's video, we'll be exploring the science behind NoFap, a movement that's gained popularity in recent years. NoFap is a practice of abstaining from pornography and masturbation with the goal of improving mental and physical health, increasing productivity, and developing strong relationships for men. We'll be delving into the latest scientific research and discussing the potential benefits and drawbacks of NoFap, as well as strategies for successfully implementing this practice into your life. Join us as we uncover the science behind NoFap and provide you with the tools you need to make informed decisions about your sexual health. However, because it is even considered normal and good for young men to do so, many people are reluctant to stop watching pornography because so many people are ignorant of the harmful effects of excessive pornographic viewing and masturbation. I'm pushing you today to accept the no-fat challenge and quit partaking. We must first examine the relevance of the neurotransmitter dopamine before we can use scientific evidence to permanently outlaw pornography and masturbation. Even in dopamine tests when rats' dopamine receptors were turned off, the rats developed laziness and eventually starved to death even when food was provided for them. Dopamine is a chemical that makes you want to search for prospective rewards. Dopamine, for instance, can make you yearn for a specific dessert or level up in a video game. Even getting up in the morning to go to work or school is made easier by it because they lack the drive to push themselves to eat the meal more. Human investigations have shown that one of the consequences of diminished dopamine receptors is a lack of motivation. Insomnia, tiredness, memory loss, if you're wondering how this relates to pornography, you should know that since sex is necessary for survival and can even increase dopamine levels to nearly 200%, it is the most stimulating activity for dopamine reuptake. Even the causes of sadness, mood fluctuations, and social enthusiasm have been linked to low dopamine levels. Keep an eye out for the Coolidge effect, which explains how males are more sexually stimulated when they meet new women. Females, a male mouse with the Coolidge effect was housed in a cage with a female mouse in different research. The male would repeatedly mate with the female but as time went on and the male spent more time in the cage, he began to show less and less interest in the female. This finding shows that the male's dopamine levels dropped over time as his desire in mating with the female declined. However, just like when using narcotics like cocaine or heroin, you face the risk of overdosing when a new female mouse is introduced when you watch hours and hours of porn. This is because pornography badly damages your dopamine receptors, which can cause developmental issues like social anxiety and a lack of motivation. However, you will realize that you have more motivation and less anxiety if you accept the NoFap challenge and quit viewing pornography permanently. I'll speak more about the NoFap challenge and how to execute it later because once you stop watching porn, your dopamine levels will return to normal. Perhaps you've heard of the Reddit-born NoFap revolution. Go to reddit.com slash NoFap to get it. There is a large group of guys that are interested in not fapping or not masturbating for several different reasons, including health advantages. Scientific proof I was interested in exploring this concept further. Are there real, measurable advantages to not masturbating? That seems possible. I'm using my computer in front of me right now because I want to share some information with you that I thought was intriguing so you can decide if it has any real advantages. Once more, we're discussing the advantages of no fat. This indicates that there is scientific evidence. Studies have been conducted and things have been tested to see if there are advantages. I'm not referring to those who have asserted that there are advantages. Every person has a different experience, and while some people may benefit from it, many people reported feeling more energized, creative and focused as a result. 
I was looking for concrete scientific evidence that there are advantages to not masturbating. Here's what I discovered after doing a thorough search. By the way, I am neither pro no fap nor anti no fap in making this video. I'm not attempting to influence you in any manner. I'm only going to suggest that you give it a shot and see how it goes for you. Whatever occurs, the focus must always be on your own experience. However, you should be aware that there is actual scientific evidence. One thing I discovered was that some studies had been done. I'll give a link to it in the description below so you can read it. It states studies on the connection between male ejaculation and serum testosterone levels. After abstaining from masturbation for a complete seven days, your testosterone level was said to rise. If you want to raise and boost your testosterone, this will be specific to you. Testosterone, there have been claims that testosterone can enhance mood, give you more energy, and help you achieve greater erections. This study asserts that if you stop doing it for seven days, testosterone will increase if you are looking for a boost. That is a benefit that may only apply to a particular person. That is a huge benefit if you're attempting to increase your testosterone. Yeah, that is an advantage of not masturbating, which increases testosterone. I've also discovered online that you might find yourself if you visit websites like yourbrainownporn.com or others they link the notion that if you watch porn excessively, it might resemble what happens in your brain when you are an addict in many ways. For instance, activities like sex, drugs, and gambling. Although you are not having sex, the concept of what's going on in your brain is the same. Your brain is scanned. They have observed that since the same activity is taking place, it is possible to become hooked if you engage in it excessively. That seems to me to be reasonably risky. I do think that if you are masturbating frequently to porn and feel that you need that to get off, perhaps you aren't getting off actual sex. Alternatively, perhaps you feel that it has taken over your life. Then this is not a good thing. When it comes to addiction, in my opinion, addiction is when you believe you need to do something to be happy or need something to keep you going throughout the day to feel like you're making it to the end of the day. If it's porn, no fap can be a decent option for you. Or I might suggest that no fap without porn will be beneficial to you. In the end, it's probably best to just quit doing it all together, or at the very least cut back significantly and stop watching porn if you find yourself in that addicted cycle. Again, I'm not for or against no fap, I just think it's bad if someone uses it so frequently that it develops into an addiction and, as has been demonstrated, at the very least, leads to porn. You must give it a try to see whether it works for you. Because of the advantages, I advise you to do it. There are a few things, such as an increase in testosterone, even if I haven't discovered much in the way of scientific studies. If you don't do it, maybe you won't develop a porn addiction if you view it frequently. You are the ultimate tester. Therefore, if those things are happening, but everything is in proportion, I like to say, it is acceptable as long as what you are doing does not dominate your life. On the internet, it has been suggested that masturbation in moderation but not excessively can be beneficial to your health. It is acceptable since it helps to relieve tension and because the body benefits from occasionally being able to expel semen. Ultimately, you should verify it for yourself. So there you have it. A closer look at the science behind NoFap and what it can mean for your overall health and well-being. While there is still much research to be done in this field, we hope this video has shed some light on the potential benefits and drawbacks of this practice. Whether you choose to incorporate no fap into your own life or not, it's important to remember that sexual health is a personal matter and everyone's needs are different. As always, we encourage you to make informed decisions and prioritize your own mental and physical health. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.